from NYC 3D Printing. We are located on Jamaica Avenue, Queens, New York. Um, I just wanted to go over the slicer for the Spark Maker Studio version 2.1. Um, I'm just gonna go over it briefly. Um, and this is gonna be a video for those who need help. Now we're gonna go to our right hand side, the most important part. Um, for fast, usually it's 0 0.1, balance 0 0.05, and best 0 0.025. In the beginning, I had issues with my um, print sticking to the plate, and I've noticed that if I change my layer thickness to 0 0.050, it actually works out really well. Okay, and these settings are also online. So if you have any questions, you could do a re you could do a quick search online for SparkMaker printer settings, and you'll be able to find these same exact settings. Uh, mine's could be a little bit different um, when it comes to lift speed and lift distance. Um, so if you don't mind, just take notes of these settings right here on your right hand side and put them in if you have different numbers. For your settings okay um, this is like I said just a brief quick video on settings that actually work out really well for me um, also I'm using LCDT type of resin but when I changed it to E it worked out really well it started sticking I don't know what the combination was but with these settings that I have right here they work really well I'll also put a video in the, um, a picture of what I've printed out. I'm in the process of printing this model out right now. Okay, it's here, as you can see. It's still in progress. You won't be able to see it through this red thing. The UV protected cover, you won't be able to see it, but we're busy working on it right now. Like I said, this video is just to help people who are having issues with the print sticking to the plate, okay? Also, um, let's click on our model right here. Some prints require um, support. Um, you can either go and add auto support, just click this button for auto support, or if you wanna add individual support like I did, you just click on add, and you just click on the corners where you wanna add the support. And that's how the auto support works, and if you wanna add your own support. What I've did here, as far as support, I added my own support and I just went to the corners that I think might need support and just clicked and got the support lined up. If I want, I could just come here, remove support, and they all be gone. Okay, if you have different settings as far as um, radius, length, contact um, depth, support angle, put these ones in. As far as auto support, 5.00. Okay, support density 4.500 and auto support 30.00. Put these settings in and lightly put your, um, your support light and give it a try. This is just a quick setting that I want to show you guys that helped me out. So if you want to just go ahead and take note of these settings. Take note because if you tune the wrong settings in there, you might have some issues. Okay, so we have top here, we have mid, bottom, raft, add those settings into your print, your slicing, your slicer, and see if that works out for you. Okay, main important are these settings right here. Okay, the param, these settings right here go they count a lot so if you don't have these settings right here put them in your slicer and give it a try this is just the G code alright guys I just wanted to give you guys a quick um, overview of my settings on my slicer for Spark Studio version 2.1 um, they work really well for me so if you want to go ahead and give it a try um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if I need to make another video just to go in depth with what's actually helping me out, um, leave a comment below. Like and share with others. There's a lot of people out there who are having this issue. 
and you guys can always send me a comment and I'll reply instantly. This is NYC3D Printing.